Hello fellow spuddies and welcome back to the Adventures of Logan Stone in Project Zomboid. So, as you can see, I've actually tidied up the base. So I've put down everything that we found in the last episode. I've put down the ink machine, I've put down this little foam padding floor, which is quite nice. I've also sorted out the base, made it a little bit neater, a little bit more homey. So I've got everything set up per category. And then over here, I have set up a little wall and door, which I've then got all of my goodies that I had this is how much was basically fitted in that <laughs> that little bit that was originally our house. So this is an insane amount of stuff that we've got, but I've sorted it into categories. So we've got electronics, we've got uh, mechanical stuff, we've got survival stuff, we've got crafting, tools, weapons. We've got so many weapons. Like, that's all the melee weapons we've got. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, the potatoes I got, annoyingly, from last episode, most of them had died. However, I did wait for the two that were left to w go to seed bearing. After them, and that was enough to replant the whole thing, so I just did that quickly off camera. I'm deconstructing stuff just around the place. I managed to get our carpentry to level 4. And after doing that, I made our first little rain collector. All is really easy recipe. That's, um, I think just four planks. Yeah, okay, there we go. And we've got the garbage bags, we've got the planks, we've got some... Nails, all you need to do, furniture, there we go, we can make the first rain back collector, we could, we can't make the second until we got seven carpentry. So all you need to do is pop that down, lovely, there we go, now we've got two. Excellent, so these can hold a fair amount of water, so as you can see it can hold 160 units of water, and uh, that would probably last, this has to be sterilised, so this will be all be tainted water, but by collecting this rainwater and then sterilizing it in our little stove over there. That should last quite a while. Uh, this is a composter, so I've put all our little rotten food in here. Uh, first thing I want to do with this episode is do a little bit of cooking. So I've read our next cooking book because I want to attempt to show you canning while I've got the fresh potatoes. And I also want to attempt to make something else. I wonder if you can guess it from the ingredients I've got in there. So anyway, let's, uh, let's start doing some cooking. There we go, there's there's Logan Stone all prepped and ready to do some cooking. So what we want to do is make some cake batter. Now I'm slightly worried about this because I've never done it before. I don't think I've ever made cake in Project Zomboid before. Um, but also because the milk is rotten and the eggs are rotten, I'm worried it's just going to end up being rotten. So let's just have a quick look. Here we go. Oh, it's expensive. Uh, cake batter. Non-perishable. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we just pop in a baking pan. It's one of the things when I raided the trailer park, I did get some baking pans because uh, I didn't have anything. The only other thing I found of interest was trumpet. <laughs> so it's uh, it's use of the melee weapon, which I just found hilarious because I just find it funny beating zombies to death with a trumpet. But let's just drop that on the floor. Well, we can now have a one-man band with a bass and a trumpet. So that's uh, that's quite funny. But we've got this cake batter, so we can then just place it in a baking pan. We've got... Cake preparation. Can we then do anything with this? No. Right, actually, I've made another one, so let's just pop it both in there. And we'll pop everything in there. And I think... I'll have a look. I think you need, like, berries and stuff to be able to make the cake properly. So we might have to do some um, foraging at some point as well. And the other thing we're going to want to do is get these potatoes all nice and done. So, as you can see, we've got some jars on us. We do have some jar lids in here. So, to do normal canning in... Vanilla Project Zomboid, you do this recipe, which is water, vinegar, and sugar. However, that's more pickling, in my opinion. So I've installed a mod which is better canning, which cans it, instead of, like, pickling it, like the original recipe. And all you need for that is water and the jars. It still does use the jar lids. But by doing this... Oh, I've only got one. Oh, I might need to crack open the box of jar lids. Okay, let's open up the box of jar lids. How many do we get? Jesus, 24. Okay, that's going to last a long time. <laughs> so canned potatoes. And what this does is it basically puts in a jar, but it's fresh uncooked. And the way this works is what you have to do is you have to pop it into the stove. So pop that there along with this water that we've got going on. And then all we have to do is light this fire up. So let's add some fuel. And then we want to light it. There we go. So that's all done. And then all we need to do is wait for this to cook and it will seal up like the equivalent of putting in like a water bath or something to seal the lid on it there we go so now we've got two jars of potatoes that's our fresh potatoes all done that's all the potatoes we got we did get one spare but i ate it so we'll uh we'll pop that in there 
and that's yeah that should last now for quite a long time although it says fresh cooked and it's perishable it should last it should last basically now you may have noticed as well that i have increased our metalworking skill as well as our mechanic skill so i went through this little it's pretty boring this is why i didn't show this on in this episode because it's just really boring i went round and i deconstructed all of these metal doors using propane torch and a welder's mask and just from doing that i end up getting basically yeah one level nearly a level and a half so definitely worth doing and since i found those trailers up in the little car park up there last episode i went and got it because i didn't realize what this was i thought it was a floodlight stupidly it's not it is a portable generator so you can hook this onto a car I, I didn't explain properly beforehand. I was getting, I was being stupid. I thought that you needed a rope to attach trailers to cars. You don't. You just need to reverse the car up to this, and you just click V when you're near it, and it will give you an option like this to attach it to it. Um, you need a rope if you want to attach a car to another car, but that's that's towing, and that's completely different. So thank you to Doctor Zero Zero Bot underscore Two K Three for that. <laughs> And also a couple of other things about cars, which I didn't realise. Um, apparently you can just click Z while you're in a car. And I'm just going to try so I've never done it before. And instead of clicking V to get the radial menu up, apparently if you just click Z, yeah, you can just go, it opens that up and you can just change seats instantly. Which is amazing. So thank you to Raphael Vitor for for letting me know how to do that and the other thing about cars which again shows how inadequate my uh my knowledge of projects on by cars is is apparently if you yeah you don't need to keep constantly close this trunk so it's it doesn't depend on whether you close the trunk whether all the stuff falls out it's dependent on the condition of your trunk so if you have a zero condition trunk it means your trunk is broken at that point, stuff will fall out of that. So thank you to Polyphemius for letting me know that. So this is the trailer we've got. It holds so much stuff. Yeah, 291. That's that's more than this car has in itself. So that's that's amazing. And the other thing that you've probably noticed as my mechanics has gone up is that I uh, started taking apart this car. So mechanics is really straightforward to do. You can only do so much each day if you've only got a single car. Because you can't just repeatedly take bits out and install them again. Um, it has a it has a hard cap limit on XP per thing that you do. My mechanics is currently 36.75. If I uninstall this, it's gone to 37.5. So it's really slow. This is why I did some of it off camera, because it just takes forever. If I then install this again, it's gone up to 38.27. 25, sorry. However, if I then uninstall it again, there's nothing. So you can only uninstall one thing and reinstall it again to get XP once every 24 hours. But I recommend finding a rundown car or one you're not gonna use like this one and just trying to uninstall stuff as you go. But the most interesting thing and best thing about mechanics is once you get to level two and you get to one in electrical, you can hotwire cars, which will mean that when we're out and about, I can basically get any car and it doesn't matter when we've got a key or anything for it. That's, that's just it. Oh, there we go. Logan enjoying a nice cold beer. Which isn't very cold because the <laughs> the power's off, so it's probably a nice lukewarm beer, which isn't particularly pleasant. Hi right, guys, it's fairly early in the morning, but it is morning nonetheless. What we're going to do is we're going to go get one of those police cars that we found in the previous episode, or at least we're going to go have a look and see what the condition on them is, because I would like to bring one back to the base because they are incredibly useful. They have sirens on them. Did I bring the rope? Yeah, I did. Good. Um sirens on them and if i fix it up i could then drive into town using the siren and pull all the zombies from the surrounding area let's check the condition they look like they're all right not great but they look like they're all right okay they're not all right um <laughs> the gas tank is horrendous the engine is horrendous okay that's uh that's no good all right please say the other one's better oh god they're both horrendous just the engine that'd be so loud um and it would just keep stalling constantly uh, okay, well, screw that then. That's um, that's not going to be any good. So, while we're here then, let's just keep driving. I think, let's go for a little drive this episode. When we went, last time we went up into Riverside, I'm thinking I'm going to explore some of the outskirts. I might even go explore some of the, uh, the farming bit that we passed previously. I'm just going to have a little loot of them, really. So I'll uh, 
you know, I'll probably dip in and out and show you if I find anything useful, anything particularly interesting. But I'm thinking I'll raid the farmhouses up on the left, and then we might just carry on driving, really. We'll see what we find. Here we go. Here's the farms. Go. Right, and hopefully, it doesn't look like there's too many zombies. Oh God! Okay, that was uh, that was terrifying. Okay, I take it back. That's a lot of zombies. Apparently, they were all just in there. Oh my god, that was that was terrifying. That was actually terrifying. Um, but we've got loads of stuff and we got some more leather gloves, thankfully, because we've run out of them. So hunting knives, stone axe, not sure about that. We got another shotgun, got another nightstick, we got some bulletproof vest, got another shotgun. I saw what looked like a couple of bags on these, so I yeah, got that, got baseball bat. God, there's they must have been in... The, it shows a little story, I think, when you find stuff like this, because it's clearly these are survivors hanging on for dear life and one must have got infected or something in there and set the other ones all off We've got another large backpack oh it's that's a uh, that's quite cool i'm really glad we found them all right so i can't believe they broke that down though there's still another one in there and there's other ones that are dead in here god there's loads of them let's see what we've got in here nothing in that sense, it's kind of pointless. Do these barrels do anything? I know in Hydrocraft, I think you can make stuff out of them, which is quite cool, but it doesn't look like you can do anything in this, which is a shame. All right, well, that was an interesting, interesting little fight there. Um, okay, there's a few up here. All right, and what have you got? You've got another hunting knife. I'll take that. Take the key out of there before it attracts more zombies. And I need to remember to keep ripping up all these clothes. Right, so let's raid this first house. There is a smashed window, so slightly concerned about zombies in here. Seems alright. Cool. Okay, so I'm just going to go around, I think, deconstructing everything that's electrical. Take apart anything and everything that I see. And I'll be right back if I find anything interesting. Oh, I found a collectible die-cast truck. Oh my god. Yes. That's the first one we found so far, so that's great. Another die-cast truck. Number eight. What was the other one we found? Number four. <gasps> We've got two. And a model kit military jeep. Oh, cool. So clearly, like, children's bedrooms are the way to find this stuff. Right, do we have anything in here? Got a motion sensor, apparently. And that looks like it's got a propane torch in it, so I'll take that. Take the pepper. Take the propane torch. A V1 controller. Gorilla Radio 1. Craft a makeshift radio. Yes, please. Does that mean we can actually get our electrical skill up a bit? We can craft our own radios, which is nice. There we go. Right, let's go raid this little workshop or shed around here, because that might have some goodies in it. Little look in here. We've actually got a generator. Sack. Good. Ooh, propane tank. I'll take the propane tank. Herbalist guide. Already got it. That's a bit of a shame, but... Yep, yeah, uh, got some of that. Spray <gasps> can. That's like the best thing ever. That was worth it just for that. Um, that enables you to basically fix up your plants if they're dying or anything. Okay, that's worth it. That was really good. Right, okay, let's go up to the other houses up here. I believe there's some more. There's one more, okay. Oh, it does look like zombies have broken in. Yeah, there is at least one. Okay, we're fine. Beef jerky, yes please. We've got fresh, a jar of animal meat fresh uncooked. Oh, I didn't even know you could find jarred stuff. That's from the, that must be from the canning mod. That's very cool. Okay, I need, still need to cook it by the look of it. But that's some... If we cook that up, that is potentially some protein that we've got. And protein is quite hard to come by at this point. So really happy about that. Got a clothes dryer and a clothes washer. The electrical three for both of them. Oh, that's a shame. If you have them and you've got access to running water and a generator, you can basically clean your clothes and stuff using it so that's useful right can we just chuck them on the floor and that's actually attempt to pick this one up cool okay we actually picked that one up that's good 
Uh, we've already got that. Electrical 2. I don't know if we've got Electrical 2. I'll take that. Um, we're way off that, but... Uh, we're foraging that one? I don't know. Hobby Magazine. <gasps> Build Model Railway Layout. That's what we need. Oh, that's exciting. Right, and we're getting a bit tired, so I'm going to go upstairs. Check to see if there's any zombies. Hopefully there's not. Right, oh my god, there's a lot of stuff. There's a fanny pack. Can we wear that on the... On the back? That's another little extra bit we've got. It's only got four carry capacity, but that's something. The Dissemble video game. We've got another die cast, the coffee one. Yes. We've got a fire truck and submarine model kit. Yes. Um, what else do we have? Toy cars or junk. That's very cool, though. Oh, I'm happy with that. Can't do anything with all that. That's a shame. We've got so many die cast trucks just from that. Um, antidepressants. Yes, please. Probably blonde hair dye. I will take that. Okay, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna have a little sleep, I think. Okay, let's just get in the car then, and um, let's keep driving. Okay, and let's go this way. I know the car's getting pretty full, but I just want to have a little little drive. I think is fair enough. Oh god! Oh, well, I didn't mean for that to happen. Right, there's nothing in this boot. However, there is a trailer. If I just just do that, and then should we um can we nudge this? Push the vehicle. Front. Oh no, hang on. Push vehicle from behind. There we go. This is from the um, better towing mod, so you can just push cars. It does exhaust you, but doing it this way does mean that we could potentially get this uh, trailer hooked up to our car, which would be nice. If, can we hook this up? There we go. Touch trailer. Now we've got a little trailer. It's not it's not as big as the other one we've got, but that'll do. How, what's the... Uh, Oh, so we've got box nails, hammer, and saw in there. Oh, 130. That's not bad, actually. There we go. Okay. We've got a free trailer. I don't really know where we're going, to be honest. So it's probably not the best time to go right at night. But it's exciting. Oh, God. Okay, another car with a trailer. Okay, we've got the key for this as well, which is nice. This has gas. Okay. Um, this is quite big, because this is a better car than what we've currently got. Just take the key out and just look at the condition. Oh, the condition's bad. Okay, it's got gas, but not much. We'll take the gasoline from this, and then fill our car up, and then that'll be good. Right, it's now light, so let's just keep going. Yeah, I can see a fence there. Hello. What's up here, then? Looks like some houses. Oh, is this, is this the bottom of Riverside? Possibly. Looks pretty quiet and deserted. Let's just park up here. There's a fire. It looks like a fire... Not a fire truck, it's like a fire car, I guess. Matches in the fire fire truck thing, that's quite funny. Or well, disinfectant first aid? Yes, please. Right, okay. We're we're here now. I don't know where we are, I'm presuming the base of bottom of Riverside. But this does mean that we can loot around here, see if we can find anything interesting. Um, and we can just take everything apart like we were doing, which is nice. Broccoli seeds and strawberry seeds, always good for more seeds. Oh, it's a bit foggy. Let's go check out um are there anything in here? I want to find the generator magazine. Alright guys, I think I'm just going to go around raiding these houses because it seems like pretty good looting. Um, so I'm just going to keep doing that and I'll be right back and show you if I find anything particularly interesting. Another first aid kit. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these first aid kits. <laughs> uh, ooh, here we go. Okay, that'll do for this one. Dog food. I don't know if we can get food poisoning from dog food, but it's a decent amount of calories. Running volume 2. That's, that's good. We haven't found that one yet. Oh, some a dead couple. Oh, that's a sad scene. Gun on the floor where they clearly killed themselves. Oh. Oh, that's sad. Sleeping tablets, disinfectant. Yes, all look good. Uh, we've got enough bleach bottles. I've got loads. Hand axe. Sure, why not? I have found so many police in this playthrough. I don't think I've ever found this many police. I'm wondering whether it's uh, added in from a mod or something, because it just seems a bit ridiculous that I found this many. Ooh, lots of seeds. Excellent. And all of that stuff for me. Lovely dog food. Lovely dog food. Ooh, yeast. That's a big find. There's quite a few zombies up there, so we're going to want to be extra cautious. I found this, which is a Land Rover. Which uh, looks very exciting, if I can actually get into it. Locked. Okay. Well, hopefully I can find a key for it in here. Ooh, make metal walls a metal roof. Yes, please. Land Rover found the key. Oh, a big... That's really big. Oh, rotten milk. That's also pretty big. Beta blockers. Yes, please. Right. Okay. 
anything in here. Hand torch. I can disassemble that. Pretty successful day so far. Right, let's sneak outside, see if we can get in this Land Rover, because I would like this Land Rover if possible. Anything in here? Go in the driver's seat. Please have gas. <gasps> it's got a full tank of gas. Right, let's check out the boot. Oh, it's got a little boot. Car battery heavy duty. Decent, it's really good condition. Well, what's the boot space like? 133. Jesus. Okay, this is uh, this is really big. Let's check out the condition on the front. Oh my god, it's like perfect. The gas tank is 99%, the engine 73. It's all amazing. There's lots of zombies there. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna call it a day. Let's just let's just go. I'm going to Oh, this is a nice car. I like this. Alright, let's uh drive down. We'll try and transfer everything. Try and transfer everything I think from the car into the trailer would be nice. We'll put we'll try and fit everything into this trailer and then just hook the uh hook the trailer up to the Land Rover. It's it's sad to see this car go, but it's um it's just one of those things. Let's remove that, and then at least that's a little bit of mechanic skill just before we leave. So if not what we can. Waste not what not. Right, let's hook this trailer up. Attach trailer. Oh god. Uh detach trailer, detach trailer. What happened there? Hang on. Stop, 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 stop. What happened there? Uh push vehicle. Can we not flip it? Detach trailer? Will it flip round again? Oh god. No 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 no. Oh, what have I done? Oh, I've ruined everything. Okay, um, I'm wondering if we can use this car to, like, nudge the other one. Okay, that, that nudged it. Let's try again. Harder. There! Oh, okay, that's something. Okay, we're sacrificing the trailer, but we haven't sacrificed the car. Control A on there, move everything into there. God, I thought we'd lost the car then. The trailer I can do without, it's not the best trailer, but that car I cannot deal without. Oh, God. Okay, that was that was really scary. Okay. Hopefully I haven't damaged it too much. Come on, just... Lose the trailer. Right, can we push this car... From behind. Maybe that'll jolt it. It did a bit. One more, that should do it. I think that's good. I think we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh my god, that was um that was effort and a half. Okay, so we were <laughs> we've we've had a pretty successful mission then. Only thing with this Land Rover is the engine is very loud, so it does attract zombies from quite a long distance away, which isn't amazing, but I think if we're going to be travelling around in it anyway, it's probably worth it. Oh, look at that. It, it kind of matches our trailer. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked what we see, please leave a like and subscribe. If you've got any feedback or comments, just leave them, leave them down below. I'm really happy, though, because he's found a load of diecast stuff he's found that land rover he's we've got a lot of significant upgrades this episode and i'm pretty happy about all of that really coming along this the fundamental flaw so far is the fact that he still doesn't have a generate uh, generator book or the electric skill let's have a look because we did deconstruct quite a lot <gasps> we're so nearly there just like 10 more things to deconstruct and we're, and we're done that's amazing um also just a quick note let's have a look see what his <gasps> we're no longer overweight Oh, yes. Oh, this is a good day for Logan. Right. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.